Well, muggy. Hey, today's gonna be a fun day at the circus. Every day's a fun day at the circus. But you know what's up. You can see the title. Today, we're gonna be unboxing some stuff and getting some first impressions of a couple things from my friend Stevie Wonder Woman. Thank you again, Stevie. Brother, I appreciate you. I appreciate you sending me a few of your knives for me to check out. I did the same, sent him a few things he wanted to check out. So, this is it. If you pay attention to my lives, you come to the lives, you hang out in the chat, you get to see me unbox stuff. So, I have actually unboxed what's in here already. Nobody's seen this yet. These are not the droids you're looking for. No, I am just going to start with what we've already know and give you guys my first impressions. I showed people what they are. So, this is, this, this whole package from Stevie represents, you can see what's in there. So, BB's even got a nice nice pouch pouch this represent but these represent two knives from a designer i know of but have never experienced his stuff ben peterson formerly of blade hq what is up guys that man <laughs> this was his first one this is the banter Ben was known for his piece uh, that he put together. Uh, first flip. Actually, I think I may have flipped it on the live. I'm not sure. Okay. Well, I came out of there. Well, I don't know why I thought a wee knife would take more, more than that to uh, get out there. But, uh, yeah, this one I get the sense running on bearings. Okay, we knives. Distinct lack of branding other than their distinctive pivot collar. The W I U G. What is up, guys? What is up, guys? I can't get it either. I don't think anybody but Ben can do it. Does that say S35 VN? I believe it does. So, yeah, G10 liner lock. See, extremely wide open frame inside there. It is not machined. No frame. The liners are not machined in there, so they are solid. No big deal. It is a countersunk pocket clip with flathead screws. Looks like a T8. But yeah, not bad. So, Ben Peterson, like I said, he used to work at Blade HQ. I may not have said that. I, I may not have gotten that far before. Squirrel! A bit of goo of some kind down there. Oh, that's that's not oil. That is the what is up, guys. <laughs> the W-I-U-G. This one needs wiped down as well. I think this one is in Nitro V, if memory serves. And... Also black G10. Nice one. So I have lanyard holes. Lanyard holes on both. Have kind of that overall same geometry on the back of the uh, handles back here. This one obviously narrower on the baby banner. By the way, this is the banner. This is the baby banner. And yeah, I mean, looks like grip, better access on the baby banner. Man, this is this would be just an amazing little fifth pocket knife. Um, I don't have any experience with the Nitro V steel, and yeah, there it is. See way down in there. Come on, Nitro V. There we go. So, um, 
Yeah, these are both in the same, basically the same finish man. That's kind of cool. I didn't pay attention to that when Stevie said he was going to send them to me. But, um, I don't know what's up with whatever's on the tip of that baby banner. But, um, yeah. This one feels like it's running on uh, washers. Reversible pocket clip on this one, but not on the banter. So banner is one direction only, but both of them are countersunk and flathead screws. Are they both the exact same? Yeah, they're the exact same pocket clip. Huh. It looks smaller because it's further back. Perspective. Doo -doo. It's much tinier. No, so uh, I don't know if that is the OG edge on it or not, but uh, it's a nice looking edge if it is. And same with this. Uh, that if that's a if that's the original edge, I am I am impressed. Um, yeah. So okay, I get why people like them. Very neutral handle. Um, the banter feels kind of an in between size for me. It's a three finger knife. And that little, that little angle part, perfect spot to put the finger. I don't know how, but my finger lands just right to do exactly that. So not horrible, but it, it kind of feels that in between. And my finger feels the very back of this pocket clip because of it. So. Baby banter. Um, <laughs> Because of that forward toil, I actually get more fingers on the baby banner. Uh, <laughs> that's funny. I'm barely getting that pinky on there, though. But I do get more of a purchase on the handle because of it. So, uh, that toil is putting my the chub of my finger perilously close to the back edge of that blade. But, I have to say, overall, the ergos of the two... In my book, go to the Baby Banner. I would probably find myself carrying this one a little bit more than I do the Banner. But I'm going to haul these around for a couple weeks or so in my pocket and uh, see how they do. See if that is, in fact, going to be the case. So I'm not going to put them in there. But I am going to get them out of the way and we'll move on to the next one, to the EMP EDC. No, 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 no. If you know EMP EDC, if you pay attention to them on Instagram, you know they have basically right now two models of knife. A third one is getting ready to drop their main model, their first model, I believe. I don't know a ton about the company. I didn't go do my research before I did this, but um, EMP EDC, I believe their first model is what's in this box. This is the second gen or the second run. And this is the Nimble. They also have the Thick Boy, which is a cleaver style. I am not a cleaver fan, so you're not going to see the Thick Boy. This is the Nimble. And then they are getting ready to drop, or they just dropped, maybe depending on when this when I get this video out, um, the Nimble X, which is a larger version. This is, I believe, three or just under three inch blade. The Nimble X is three and a half inch. So there you go. But ah, I'm excited. <laughs> I am very excited. Honestly, I've seen these. I didn't think I would get a chance to play with one. Oh, hey now. Serial number 262. Second production. November 2021. Date of birth. EMPEDC.com. And the nuclear sticker there. Oh, yeah, look at that. Just raw titanium frag. <sighs> Sexy. Nice little box. Got the magnetic thing going on. 
put you down here for now. Actually, let's just get you out of the way. So, before I even flip this thing, I, I'm, I'm already a bit worked up. So, let's take a look around the outside. Um, see that MPEDC pivot? Nicely done. The frag pattern. I really like this treatment on the flipper tab. I can hardly wait to give it a try. Nice work on the, well, the uh, lanyard pass-through that goes through the scales and the backspacer. Perfectly centered, as you would expect. These knives do run, I think, around the, like, 250-300 range, depending on the assortment of options you get. I think they can actually go well above that because there is a Mokutai option for I think it's the clip and backspacer um, you can see it's got a variety of opening options one of the reasons I'm almost shaking because I, I'm not sure which one to try first except I know it's not gonna be a front flipper so yeah a really cool minimalist flipper tab they all keep very square oh, do I, I kind of want to reverse flip it let's let's reverse flip it. let's back out Let's back out. We're going to reverse flip it. Oh. oh, silk. Oh, actually, that was that was greased glass smooth. That was, yeah. Let's see how it does with this. I'll embarrass myself with the with the front flipper tab last. That way, it'll be easier to edit out. Okay. Um, it's uh, uh, it just takes a little bit. It is definitely a light switch. Let's see. Yeah, definitely a light switch, not a push button. I kind of figure that from its arrangement. Oh, dare I even try. Eh, okay. Not the worst front flipper I've ever encountered. Eh, that's an angle thing. But yeah, stonewashed blade. Uh, M390, I believe. Is that what I said? Yeah, M390. Bowler M390 steel. Um, frag titanium. A liner lock with a hardened steel interface titanium clip just an all-around classy looking knife man um doesn't weigh much at all I don't know what that titanium is gonna bring it in at let's check real quick in fact let's check all three of them how about that Zoom me in down here without stabbing myself in the forehead. <laughs> Zero out. 3.7. A little more than I th thought it would be, to be honest. Let's keep everybody compact. 3.70 still. The banter. 2.86. So about... 0.8, 2, <laughs> under, right at 2. I was going to say under 2, but right at 2 for the baby banner. <laughs> That's insane. So there you go. Yeah. Uh, interesting. Um, interesting knife. I didn't think this big gap between the the choil and where the rest of your hand goes would be all that comfortable but uh i have to tell you it's not not nearly as bad as i thought it was and it actually kind of serves to pull everything together and away from that blade so let me zoom you guys back out again um and i do like that how they treated that flipper hole that is a really cool treatment. It feels really nice on the finger. It doesn't hurt at all. It doesn't dig into anything. Um, yeah. I am going to enjoy putting this in my pocket for a while. So, um, 
this just like the Roxy 4 that I sent Stevie to check out this will get a pocket all its own when I carry it and I am gonna enjoy it for the next week or two before I send it back to Stevie but yeah interesting interesting little knife I see why so many people dig it very well made that much is very obvious as soon as you pick it up and flip it open it feels like the lubricant that they used on the bearings because this thing is way too smooth to be on washers uh, it feels like we may need to clean it out actually um, something feels just a little gummy in the action it's it's not the the interface or anything else I think it has a lot to do with the lubricant so um, if this were mine I would probably pull it apart clean it out and uh, put a new lubricant in the bearings in there but uh, that's it that is the EMP EDC nimble 2.0 so, if you have a chance to check one out, uh, based on just how it feels in my hand right now, I would say definitely get your hands on one of these. If you got bigger hands, you may want to check out the Nimble X that's getting ready to come out. It is going to be a slightly bigger yet version of this. But thank you again to Stevie Wonder Woman for allowing me to take a quick look at your toys. I hope you enjoy the ones I sent to you. Sorry it took me as long as it did to send them up there to you. Take your time, brother. No hurry getting them back. I hope you enjoy all of it. I do. You got some of my favorite knives with you out there now. And uh, yeah, it is just this one I'm really going to enjoy. I think these two may see some time together in part of a rotation. This one, I don't know. I may put him together with a mouse. We'll see how it works. But yeah, thanks again, Stevie. Thank you to you guys for watching. I appreciate you all. And until I see you again, and I do hope I see you again, stay well, be kind, do good. This is Grumpy. I'm out.